Let's have a sesh on induction training items. So induction training is training to new employees to enable them to perform their job. Things that you might see in your induction training are sometimes referred to as your induction training items. Here are some examples of your induction training items. Well, it could be a presentation or a document or both that are trying to explain to the new employee the business's aim and objectives. It could be looking at their specific job role that that new employee is going to do and who, if they're in case of a manager, who they're going to be responsible for or who they're accountable to, who is their manager. Um, it could also be looking at health and safety procedures, for example, your fire drill. It could be looking at future development training that's available, so future training that you could go on to do so you could become a more productive employee in the long term. Um, also, you probably want a tour of the building or the factory or the office, whatever makes sense to the particular role. And you might have to do a meet and greet with existing staff. That's particularly important because it's going to build relationships and create increased communication and less communication barriers between you, the new staff, and the existing staff. And that's going to be really good for the overall productivity of the business. One thing to think about is the length of the induction period, because that will depend on the nature of the job and the nature of the industry that you are entering. Take, for example, a barista. It's likely a barista in a coffee shop will probably have a shorter induction period versus um, a, a grad scheme, a new grad that's going on to a grad scheme in a big corporation will likely have a longer induction period. So it would depend on the job and the industry. The main pro and the main reason, basically, why you do induction training is because you want to make your new employee as productive as soon as possible. But there is a con to this because in doing your induction training and doing all these induction training items, well, that's going to take time and it's also going to cost. And the cost is going to be labour costs because you're going to have to have a member of the existing staff that does all this, that does the presentation, prepares the presentation, does the document, puts through the self and health and safety procedures, etc. So an evaluation point to think about is that if you have a business that has high staff turnover, so lots of people are continually leaving and entering the business, high staff turnover, well, that's likely to mean that you're going to have more induction training. And if you have more induction training, well, that's more costs and more time overall spent. And therefore, existing staff, existing staff that might be doing this induction training, well, they're doing it more frequently. And if they're doing it more frequently, well, that makes them less productive at their actual function, which may not be doing the induction training. And also, they might become more demotivated because they might be fed up of continually doing induction training and they may not do it as well. So I hope that helps with induction training and I'll see you at the next video.